now we're out here at Zoker Park. Uh, we're on hole one. I'm gonna try to throw as many discs as I can out here. I do have four drivers, distance drivers, and there's only, I think, one or two holes that might require that here for me anyway. But we're on hole one, 250 feet. I'm gonna throw the, we're doing two off one, so I'm gonna throw the Envy and the Glitch, just because I've never thrown a Glitch, and I think that'd be fun. We're gonna start with the Envy. Really, really windy, really high, really bad. Oh, that glitch is funky. Interesting. So it has been raining all day. And this grass is very wet. So I'm glad I brought this towel because i definitely going to need it. So here's our envy shot. Just going to try to throw, throw the glitch hyzer around the left side of the tree. Or hit the tree. That, that'll work too. All right, so I'm gonna be putting with the Nomad today. Um, I have a buddy that puts with the Nomad. I don't really like them, but this is the only, only putter I have. Be all week, so that's fun. Discs are sticking to my hand. Okay, cool. Bogey on hole one, not ideal, but we'll take it. Okay, so we just putted with the Nomad. We're on hole, three, hole two, same as the last one. It's a little bit more to the right. I have less room to the right to work with. So I'm gonna try to just throw this at him, right at it. It's not, it's not a part of plastic, so it should hold up a little more. <clears throat> ah, I tripped over my feet. It's got a nice fade to it though. Not bad. Funny enough, this disc landed right between these two brick things. So let's glitch again here. Just give it a soft bid. Oh, okay, now I understand why people like that thing so much. It glides for days. That's an easy tap in par. This tee pad is very wet. I'm just gonna throw a stand still. Um, gonna throw the hex here. Try to keep it straight and flat and then let it taper off there at the end. Not terrible a little i pulled it a little high and left um but i do not like the feel of these r2 plastics they are very tacky and it sticks to my hand and i don't like it at all i can step put with this nomad oh, not bad just a little behind the basket that's another tap in par hole four another one of the holes that i'm not a big fan of but we're going to throw the Zenith on a forehand line. Don't really, I know it's a 12 speed, 11 speed, something like that. But, and I know I don't, it's only 300 feet, but I don't have the farthest forehand distance. So this higher speed should get me a little extra distance and get down there where I can save a par. Okay. Um, that went into the trees, right, but like past the the bad part. All right, so I really have no idea what happened. Um, it just turned over on me, unfortunately. So I am in the trees here. That's unfortunate. So it looks like I'm gonna take another bogey, which is, which is always fun. Oh, get down. Please get down. Please get down. Oh, now I'm going to make a long putt with the Nomad. This is, this is going to be fun. Luckily, it just slid right off the edge of the rocks. So easy tap in here. Cool. thought I missed that for a second. I was going to be very upset. So far, I have only had opportunity to throw mids and putters. And I'm on my last putter that I haven't thrown off the tee, the glitch. 230 feet straight ahead. Just get it down. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not a fan of that plastic. I'm gonna try this lift here. Forehand Anheuser, up and over. It's like a negative two, two or something like that. Negative two, 1.5. I can't tell how bad, how far that 
how far that went. After that atrocious tee shot, I did a decent job of scrambling to get to 20 footer. So just, we just need to convert it here. Woo! I have a case of the Yanks. I'm pulling everything really far to the to the left. Hole six, um, 220 straight down to the right behind the big tree. Just gonna throw the envy off to the left on a bit of, on a bit of hyzer and let it fade in. It's a lot of hyzer, but that's okay. Sweet, I hit the tree and hit then hit into the road. So I definitely had to have gotten a roll here to roll all the way back to the tree unless it just didn't bounce back as far as I thought it was going to. So I have a 20, 20 ish footer, 25 footer straddle to, to get a birdie. There we go. Now we're on the birdie train, baby. This is hole seven, 350 feet. Um, so I think this is the hole I throw the vanish. Steep or not, or throw it kind of flat out to the right of that light cart and let it pan because it's negative three, two. I don't know if it's going to be super flippy or not. I hope it's fl flippy enough, but we'll try to throw it flat and see what happens. No, it is not flippy at all. To be fair, I did throw it straight in the air. Uh, I'm going to try to throw that Zenith. That Zenith was super flippy on. Now I'm going to throw the lift. The Zenith was flippy on that forehand on hole four, but I think that, that might have been some wind. So let me try, try this one. Oh, yeah, that's a lot flippier. I did I did rip over on that one, but no, now I'll throw the Zenith too, because why not? This is probably one of the few holes you'll get to see it. Time lapse is coming, I promise. Time lapse is going to be 10. Hole 10. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that thing is flippy as well. That Zenith is very flippy. So we're going to play from the Zenith here because I don't want to go over there and play that one. It's okay. Envy on a little bit of Anheuser forehand. Oh my God. All right. So I don't know if you guys have ever gotten some discs or played with some new discs or whatever and have just not liked the feel of them so much that you just don't want to play anymore. Um, that's how I'm feeling right now if with these R2 plastics and these other discs. So I'll make a deal. I'm just going to play nine holes, but I'm going to go to hole 10 after this and throw every disc that I got just so you can see how it flies down the um, low ceiling straight tunnel shot. But here's my putt for par with this Nomad. Ooh, that was a decent run. So the last two discs that I haven't thrown outside of the time lap is the Detour and the Crave. I'll throw them both here. I'll play eight, nine, play 10, throw all the discs on 10, and then I'll call it, call it a day there. But I uh, decided I'm not even gonna continue to keep score because it's not doing anything, but hurting my mental health right now because I don't feel good about playing at all. But here's the detour first. Throw it on a bit of hyzer flip right at the basket. <clears throat> oh, too much hyzer. <clears throat> oh God. Oh, it is a fl it is flippy though. Do it flat and it flipped, flipped over. I just released it way early. Okay, so here's where the, the detour landed, about 45 feet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a soft run here with the Nomad. Eh, not terrible. Uh, this is hole nine, 188 feet. I am gonna give it four runs at the ace with these, these putters. So here's the glitch. Got a nice little fade on it. <clears throat> All pretty solid runs. And then here's the Nomad. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a straight out into the middle of the street. Those are the putters. I'm not gonna throw those on hole 10 because it doesn't make sense to. So we're on hole 10. I have the seven discs that uh, are realistic to be thrown here, depending on how you wanna play the hole or if you have the arm speed to get it to get them all the way there um i do not with these lower ones slower discs but uh, we're gonna start with the hex and work our way 
to the fat to the detour to the crave down to the lift then the vanish then the time lapse then the zenith zenith then the time lapse last certainly not least but we got to put it last for you guys so we're gonna start here with the hex we're gonna throw everything flat and just see its natural flight plat flight pattern flat with a slight tailwind <clears throat> Okay, so got up to speed there on that one. I did hit a branch, which is fine. Um, but as you saw, it was going straight. It wasn't flipping. It wasn't fading. It was just flat and straight the whole way. Now we have the detour. <clears throat> There's the nice little turn flight. Now we have the lift. Now we have the crave. So it's going to fly like a detour, but faster. That was a really, really good shot. Probably won't want one of my, my better shots. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay, so that's up there by the pin. Um, somehow snuck through the high gap. Remember the vanish, so 12.5, negative 3.2. 11, or yeah, 12.5, negative 3.2. <clears throat> okay. Last time I threw that, it was, uh, oh no, it wasn't flippy. I'm, I'm silly. So that one was kind of, kind of stable. A lot more stable than I was expecting. Now we have the Proto Zenith. <clears throat> yeah, that's a flippy, that's a flippy one. Okay, yeah, so the Zenith is a 11.5, negative 0.52, but it's very flippy. So now last, but very certainly not least, we have Lab Second time lapse and I don't see what's wrong with this honestly I have no clue why it's a lab second but hey I got a free time lapse so I'll take it to it flat and see what happens with the purplish gray <clears throat> Ooh, kind of beefy I like it I really like it but yeah so those are the flights of those discs I uh, didn't throw a few of them very well but um, also didn't play very well. I'm not a, not a huge fan of the R2 plastic. Some people may love it. Some people may hate it. I personally am not a fan, but hey, that's what it's, uh, that's why they make multiple different plastic types for people. So yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video where I do a time-lapse comparison. So stay tuned for that. Peace.